everyone. We are back with what sold on eBay for the weekend. Crazy weekend for us on eBay. Lots of sales and a very busy weekend for that in our personal lives. You tired? Yes. I'm tired too. Early morning for me tomorrow too, so we gotta get all this packed up. Lynn and I both got a lot of work to do. Anything you want to say before we get started and tell them what the results were? No. Okay, so again, we sell on eBay random junk from garage sales thrift stores and we make money to pay bills. It's not junk to some people, but to you it might be. But it's valuable junk and we pay our bills with that. So, how did we do? How many items? 55 sales for a total of almost 18.55. So pretty good. We still got a little time left too, so it'd be cool if a little couple hundred dollar something item came in to get to 2000, but That'd be cool. either way, there's a lot of bread and butter stuff here. There's really not crazy big sales. It's all just solid bread and butter stuff, but it's still a total of a pretty good day. Let's go ahead and get into what do we got first? First up, we have an original Sharp audio system remote. Sharp remote. An original Sharp audio system remote, and this one sold for ten dollars and fifty cents. Took a while for that guy to pay them. Yeah. Next Table. up, we've got uh, Mortal Kombat, the complete oh, edition. No, that guy canceled. I forgot he messaged me. That guy canceled. Yeah, he messaged me the day to cancel. So we gotta cancel it. Sorry, guys. Shirk. Next up, we've got a Nintendo Wii. I'll just put it on the screen because it's buried, but we the do have it. console mm -hmm. with all the wires and stuff, and that one sold for $54 shipped. 54 shipped for the Wii. Happy to see it go. Probably a Christmas gift. Who knows? Wrenches? Yeah, then we got a lot of eight wrenches. Um, these are a metric lot. 17, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 8, and 7 millimeters. Not a complete set. Um, these are a Besky Buy. But SK is the brand. Made in USA. Yes, and those eight sold for sixty dollars shipped, guys. Made a lot of money on those tools, guys, and you're going to see some more coming up. So definitely, um, if you find the vintage Craftsman SK Mac tools, snap on, keep an eye out. There's some money there. And then this guy sold very well too. This is a Salvino's 2002 Seattle Supersonics bear. Um, he does have the tag, and he sold for twenty six dollars shipped. He was a dollar at a garage sale, and I knew he was Supersonics, and they don't exist anymore. They became the Thunder, I think. So figured he'd be a good one to buy, and he did. There are other bears by different teams; not all of them are worth money. We did sell some Kobe Bryant ones that we had right after Kobe passed away. They sold really quickly, so we didn't buy. I bought them just because they were Kobe bears, but then I listed them, and then he passed away and they sold really easily yeah next up we got this book this is an old book from 1948 white by paw. david green it's white paw goes north an arctic adventure and this book itself sold for 40 dollars shipped and this was two bucks or three bucks at a thrift store for some something just told me to look it up i usually don't look up random books like this but i'm like let's check that one out and it sold for 40 bucks and a best offer awesome sale. then we've got a movie no 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 we've got a dvd Eagles. The Cathedral is a farewell celebration that is a sealed DVD and it sold for ten dollars and some change. Good one there. Then we've got Wii Sports. Uh, it's in this random red case and it sold for twenty one dollars and some change. Wii Sports is just such a good game to sell. It always sells. And it's just the disc. In the little front case. Yeah, the front case thing. Um, next up, we've got this weird manual for American Harvest Jetstream Convection Oven. Two pack right there. Looks like what you would get in the box. Yeah, well, I bought the actual unit, no box, but this was in the thing. And she said it was brand new, but it wasn't. I spent twelve fifty in the whole thing. This is the first thing to sell for twelve ninety nine. Almost made our money back, but I just parted it out the other pieces out, so I'm sure we'll make some money on it eventually. Next up, we've got a Star Wars character. This is a uh, snow trooper snow from trooper. the Battle of Hoth. Um, he is a three and three quarter inch figure and he sold for eleven dollars and some change i love star wars next up we've got a broken tamagotchi this, this is a seven. super yeah it's not official tamagotchi it's Gaiapi. Gaiapi. And... it's broken in the back here the person who ever had this before me they stripped all the screws out so i can't unscrew it i'm sure you could probably drill it or whatever and pull them out but I just sold it as is for parts. And it sold for $17 shipped. Best offer. And it was listed for 18 The guy goes, I'll buy it today if you do $17. i am like, okay, sure. You can have a dollar off. Next up, we've got Wii Linda's Sports. Linda's really tired. Sorry, guys. I'm not going to edit all these out because it takes too much time. You edit them out? Some of them, yeah. Because sometimes it's just nonstop yawning. People don't want to see that. Maybe there are channels for that. I don't know. 
Maybe it helps people who want to yawn. You yawn and it helps them yawn. Some of us can just keep stay awake. Next item, Wii Sports again. This is Wii Sports with the manual and the disc for $21 and some change. This one's cool because of the message. So Yeah, it's... so this one right here got a message that says, My dad wore one similar when he flew back during the Vietnam conflict. I've always wanted one to stitch my campaign patches from Iraq and Afghanistan on. This is an American rag, heavy quality faux leather jacket. Um, it is stained and it's, it's got wear it's, everywhere, and it's, it's got wear, yeah. But some guys like like it a little worn. It kind of gives it some character. Do you want to call it that? And this guy bought it for thirty two dollars shipped. I think I got it for like two bucks. Um, the best part is that it's going to someone who's probably going to value it and it's going to have some sentimental value as he sets it up like his dad did, which is awesome. So. That is worth it in and of itself. Then we've got a uh, collection seven of Dirty Jobs. This one is sealed. I love this show. I, I love watching whole, it. We have a whole... We got a bunch of them. A whole bunch of Dirty Jobs stuff. Look out for Dirty Jobs. Um, what's the other one that we have? Um, Mythbusters. Mythbusters. Some of them do really well. Yeah, so. some of them are like rare for some reason. Yeah. And people want them. This one's sealed and it's sold for... So this one sold for $35 shipped. And it was a dollar. Each one I got it for a dollar. Hopefully we'll see the whole... I listed a big lot of them. Hopefully we'll see them sell here pretty soon. Yeah. Then we've got a vintage 1 and 7 16th little teeny tiny This is a wrench right wrench. <laughs> you could. This could be a serious weapon. Yeah, this you thing probably heard huge. somebody with that. So... This was fifteen dollars, and it sold for forty-five dollars. I paid up for it because I knew it was valuable. Um, I got it with the rice maker that we already sold the other day. It was twenty-five for both. We sold them combined for one twenty-five. So, good deal. Happy to see it go though. This is the carafe. Yeah. Then we've got a Ninja Coffee Craft, and this one is glass, and it sold for twenty-five dollars and some change. Oh, ninja over there. Gotta be careful with those guys because they can break. Yeah, especially at 25 bucks, you got to box it up pretty good. And... Yeah, usually, I think they usually sell for like 30. I sold them in the past, and it was listed for that, but I think it's on sale. That's why it sold cheaper. Yeah. Because normally you want to get that 30 bucks for it. When there's those extra change amounts that are random. Then yeah, usually that's assume. a sale. Next up, we got another toy. This is a vintage Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles wing nut and screw loose action figure lot. He's all, he's not, he's almost complete. He's missing a couple pieces. He's yeah. missing one wing and something else. But he sold for almost $20 shipped. And he was from the death pile. Then we've got a four lot of Craftsman combo wrenches with the box ends. Yeah, clean the box or closed end ones combination because it's like half inch on this side and, you know, seven sixteenths on the other. So. And these are from the Rolling Stones buy with all those ones. And these four, four packs sold for $38 shipped. If you guys have been paying attention, a lot of money in tools already. We're talking $140. Forty-three dollars or something like that in tool sales so far today, or this weekend, and there we're not done. There's still more to come. Yeah. Actually, next up we right have now. this three-pack of no needle nose pliers. These are vintage. You would not Utica. think these are worth anything. You look at these, you're like, they're not gonna be worth anything. Diamaloy, diamaloy. Yeah, it's because it's like diamond alloy or something. Oh, okay. And these are a bestie buy, and these sold for thirty dollars shipped for the threes. auction. These were at I put them at auction because there was one that else. One other one that went at auction for a similar price. I'm like, we'll just list them. So we got 30 bucks for three of these. Again, now we're at whatever, 170 something dollars in Crazy. tools. And we're still not done. Then we've got Fable 3 for Xbox 360. This one is sealed and sold for $10 and some change. Not a whole lot for a sealed game, but it's out of here. Our next Xbox game is going to be Incredible Hulk Ultimate Destruction. This one's good for this you. This one sold for $23 shipped. Used. Oh, I was gonna say for you. I'm no, like, it's what good. I do? It's good for a used game. Twenty something bucks is good compared yeah. to the sealed one that only sold for ten. Then, for all you Legend of Zelda fans out there, we've got a Link statuette. And he's actually got a little part of his sword that's broken. He's supposed to go on a stand. I knew that he was damaged. The guy messaged me. He was listed at thirty bucks. He said, "I'll give you 20 I said twenty five. He said twenty three, given the damage of the sword, but he still wants him. So. At that point, I don't care. It sounds like it's going to a good home, and he's out of here. He's not that heavy either, so... No, he might make first class, or even we'll if he goes it. over a pound. I don't think I paid more than a dollar or something for him. Let's throw him in a poly mail. And then it'll probably break even more. <laughs> Next up, we've got a book. This is Alfred's Basic Adult Piano Course, Level 1. And that one sold for $8 and some change. Not a whole lot, but 
It's out of here. Medium mouth. Good to see it go. Then we've got this scary meat cleaver. This is a vintage this was a five bucks, three, kitchenware three five butcher. Bucks. It's, it's got, got some a, rusts. It's nasty. But it looks cool. Like, you know, if your name was like the butcher and you were in a horror movie, like you might use this. And... It's heavy and it does have a decorative handle for yeah, those of you who like to keep things pretty. You know what I imagine someone doing with this? You know those new videos that are popular now where they take one of these and like clean it up and make it all nice? Like they I restore could, it. Yeah, yeah. They, I could see them taking this and doing that for a video. And they bought it for forty dollars shit. I've been sending offers out for thirty and thirty five bucks for this for a while because I have a lot I get a lot of watchers on it. And someone finally came through with their own offer of forty and I was like, Yes, it's yours. Happy to see it go. Then we've got this cool sweater. This is weird. First of all, look how big the hood is. Yeah, it's weird. The hood is huge. This is the hood, like from right here. This is all hood. And it, the and look at the rest of the jacket. Weird too. Yeah, it's like you could like suffocate yourself in this. This is a Nakatano Brave New World men's hoodie. Um, it is a bestie buy. It did have a little bit of a stain on it when Cameron washed it the first time, but I got it out the second time, and it it's really sold. It's pretty soft, though, too. It is. It is soft. I would wear it if it didn't have weird hood. The hood is just weird. Yeah, and that sold for $45 shipped. That's it might be one of those ones too. that people wear where it creates, like, a neck ring on it. I don't know, but, but that brand, Nakatano or whatever it is, look them up. Some of them sell really well if you ever find it. It's definitely something I never heard of. And that was, like, 5 bucks at a garage, at a, my friends that I buy from. From Joshy. Well, now you told her that. Oh, sorry. From Bestie. <laughs> Next up, Jay, <laughs> we've got a club glove. This is a glove skin for a pitching wet. Cameron got a bunch of these. Um, well, they came on a set of clubs I bought. He got Yeah, they were on a set of clubs that he bought when Kylie was here. Yeah. And he parted them out, and this one itself sold for $14 shipped. So the trick with this, I didn't have a complete set. One was damaged, and I was missing two of the head covers. So I didn't want to sell an incomplete set because it's not really super desirable. And then I saw people were randomly selling little individual ones from anywhere from like 10 to 15 shipped. I tried it out, and we already got 15 for this. The other one, this is the pitching wear, so it sold a little bit 14. better. 14. But if we can get 10 bucks on each of these, we'll end up with 50 or 60 bucks just in head covers which is a good deal so something to consider next up we have a 1939 golden gate international mm -hmm. um um match it's a box. matchbook holder match, matchbook holder i didn't know at first and i opened it up and i figured out what it was and that thing sold I thought for, it was a belt buckle at first but it's I, that's what i thought too sold for 37 dollars mm -hmm. this is from the american legion by guys we sold those pins of those chinese political pins the other day all the american legion pins we've been selling this is from there as well. I spent 30 bucks Salvation Army auction, and we're making quite a bit of money from that. And the best part about, again, I said this before, the best part about lot deals and auctions is a lot of people don't know how to value them, so they won't put a lot of money in them. But when you see what you get an idea of what's there and you can kind of assess the value, you can spend not too much and get a bunch of items to sell. Yeah. So it's worked out a couple times with us. So 37 bucks on this little guy. That was and the best offer, too. Then we got a rock and roll by this is a vintage Christmas music sell. book. Right around today because it's Christmas time. It's a Belvin Mills publishing. I think it's got like Rudolph in here. Jingle Bells. Oh, Christmas tree. Christmas is coming. The basics. Yeah. Oh, the Boris head. I've never even heard of that. <laughs> and that sold for $20 shipped. So old music stuff sells, not all of it though. So Christmas ones, I notice even in lots, you can sometimes sell them. So something to keep an eye out for. And then we've got a Moss, Moss and Hoffman Paisley pretty, like, shirt. Pretty interesting pattern if you can see it. Hopefully, yeah. It's pretty, you're definitely gonna stand out if you look. And that sold for thirty-five dollars shipped, and it is a two XL. So got that for five bucks. We had four or five of shirts in that brand. Most of them were like nice cool prints or geometric colorful. I think we have like maybe one shirt left of that may have been the last one. They've all sold pretty well plus 2XL. And then That's our cool. next one is a tool guys. This is a bestie buy tool. This is a 11 millimeter craftsman and that one sold for $10 shipped. Again whatever I said we're at 180 bucks in tools. Awesome. Yeah. This is a cool. This is probably the bolo of the video. Now, most of you would probably say Garmin GPS is not that valuable, but there's a couple kinds that are, and I don't mean the lifetime map ones. This one, Linda, talk about it. This is a Garmin GPS map 295. So it does have the bundle. It's got the actual this, item, the plug-in, the antenna. antenna, 
and the manual for it. And um, it uses this is batteries. I don't know if there's a way to hook it up without batteries, but I tested it with batteries. And this was five bucks. It sold for one ninety ship. And this is for pilots. This is like an aviation one. We got two of them from a garage sale. Lady had everything else there was super high price, but she parted this one, this one for five and another lower model one for three. They both work. We're going to end up with probably $400. This sold in a weekend in GPS sales by Garmin. So not all Garmin's are just trash. A lot of them are not worth a lot. But if you find this one or if you find the Garmin Moto or whatever, there's one that's for motorcycles. That one also sells very well. We've sold it before for 200 bucks. So some Garmin's are worth something. Keep an eye out. Mm -hmm. Next up, we've got oh. a Dale Vesley is Hawk by Paul Holmes. This is a, kind of a book cool about surfing. Book. Yeah, it's a really nice quality book. This is from the 350 buyer. Remember? And this book is going global shipping program, and it sold for $55 shipped. So yeah, somebody this, wants that surfing book. Yeah, this one sold while we were out on our date eating, and I was like, yes. Nice. Next up, we've got oh, a... Oh, no, it was at Savers. So, so selling while we're buying? Yeah, well, while you're buying. Next up, we've got a lot of 20 different Apple product um boxes boxes so we got phones tap uh phones the tablets, ipads ipads yeah and i think that's it some, yeah i MacBooks. think that's all that's in there um and those you see on the screen all sold for sixty dollars shipped i uh, get a lot of these from my one source um i sell the ones that are newer that have usually the macbook boxes you can still sell on the newer iphone ones he usually will give me everything he has though i ended up with a bunch that i just wasn't doing anything with because they're not worth it I lotted them together in about two months. They sold on the best offer for 60 bucks. I probably have about 50 cents in each of them. Um, so we made a little bit of money. I'm not saying go out and do this, but if you have a bunch lying around, you could try to lot them up. So yeah. I'm super happy. This was one of my favorite sales of the whole weekend. I'm so glad that they're leaving. But um, They take up a lot of space. Yeah, they take up a lot of space for something I thought may never sell. So I'm happy to see them go. Next up, we've got oh, this one weird. out of the vintage. Um, I just get excited about weird things. Yeah. Like, I get excited about this. This is out of the vintage buy. So, this is where Cameron got the detergent, the shampoos. Toilet paper. Toilet paper. other Another Barbasol, some dish soap, stuff yeah. like that. All kinds of, uh, yeah, yeah, cleaning products. Lots of stuff. It was 70s crazy. and 80s. This yeah. is all old stuff. And this lemon lime. Still even scented. has a 90 cent sticker on it. Uh, this Barbasol can sold for $32 shipped. Yeah, we sold the last one for around 30 something bucks. And we have a couple other ones of the Barbasol different shaving creams. They are brand new sealed. Um, we list I list them as props, you know, or whatever, not really for Yeah, use. don't use it. I put that in the listing, but um, we do really well on that old health and, not health and beauty, whatever you'd want to call it, cleaning stuff. I guess it is health and beauty, yeah, it's shaving cream. <clears throat> <clears throat> we do really well on the old shaving cream. Next up, we've got a Funko Pop. This is Domo the Flash, number 26. Um, and he sold for $34 shipped. Yeah, pretty cool. I think he was 5 bucks, so happy to see him go. I don't know a lot about Funko Pops. Like, some, most of them are worth nothing, it seems, but there are some that have some value. Then we've got an HP... Lovecraft. Which, which HP? What? HP Lovecraft? What yeah, that's that? the name. Oh, okay. This is HP Lovecraft, the complete fiction... Um, so it's a pretty cool looking book, honestly. Yeah, it looks like it's really good quality. Like the cover yeah. looks nice and it's got the little it's thing to shiny. keep your place. So. And that book sold for $24 That's shipped. what I saw and I'm like, that's cool. And it said complete fiction. And I'm like, okay, now you got me. It looks cool and it says that. Looked it up, paid five bucks for it at the thrift store and we got 20 something for it. Then we've got The Hobbit. This is a leather bound deluxe edition. It looks pretty cool. It's that nice forest like green. Good, like one of those, they call like bookshelf books. Or yeah, whatever. so it'll nice. look cute on your bookshelf. And then it sold for $24 shipped as well. And that is a bestie buy. And that one was supposed to be from a, it had like a set, I think, or like a nice slip cover with it, but it didn't come with it when I bought it. I paid a dollar. And we've got this cute bag. This, this is a, how people used to roll around with their Polaroids. I don't know about that. Yes, they did. This okay. is a vintage wood grain. Let me get out my Polaroid. Polaroid hipster bag. And that one sold for... How does it look? $30 shit. I don't know if the wood grain really works for me. Yeah, that's the problem. Next up, we I have... I did not think that would ever sell. The fact that that sold just boggles my mind. 
Hopefully they like it. <laughs> Next up, we have a pair of untamed fingerlings. These are the um, raptors. Blaze and scratch. Scratch and blaze. So these ones I bought I at Walmart. Is it three bucks? No, four, four or five bucks a piece. Yeah, Linda bought all these. It wasn't really the greatest buy. Yeah. It's when I was starting Amazon and I thought I could sell everything that I wanted and I couldn't. So I bought all these thinking like I could do that. And you can't. So I've been selling them actually on Facebook Marketplace. I think I've done three or four orders on Facebook and Marketplace. We've sold three or four on eBay. Too. And we've sold three or four. That's how many I bought, guys. I bought a lot of them. We still have two full sets or two <laughs> sets of two left and then a, some indiv couple individuals. But this pack sold for $26 shipped. So if you're in them for, let's just say, $10, um, shipping's going to be at least 10 or 11 bucks, 20 You might break even at this point. Yeah. Some of Linda's buys in the beginning world will be basically lost money or broke even. But she made a lot of money on Starbucks coffee. They did. They made and we made a lot of money on those wands. The mystery oh, ones. Harry Potter mystery fun. ones. Yeah, you made money on those. Um, those little like pet, those little animals that were like. Oh, for the blind or for the. Like uh, dementia. Yeah, little like pets or whatever. Yeah, for yeah. like the elderly, you get them a pet that like interacts with them and stuff. So yeah, she bought those on like half off and made some good money on those. So you had a couple things you made money on, but there were. Couple things that we still have today. <laughs> yeah. Then we've got this 12 volt ACDC adapter. Um, it sold for 22 and a half, but my model number is off, and the yeah. I'm off by a little bit, so I don't know what happened. I must have copied a listing and thought it was. So I'll have to message the buyer. This goes to one of those little cooling machines that yeah, cools like your cold rush therapy. Yeah. Machine. So if you see the little power cord, you can sell them, but just don't be mean. Get the pack, get the number right. I need to slow it down. That's what it is. I need to slow it down when I'm listing. Especially if it's something with like numbers and stuff that you're gonna need to know. What's next? Um, next up, yeah. Next up, we've got the hundred jazz lessons. Um, this book sold for sixteen dollars and some change, and it is going global shipping program. They paid like forty bucks for that book. It's just crazy. <laughs> <laughs> then we got a lot of four Call of Duty games, World at War and Modern Warfare 2, 3, and 4 for Xbox 360. And these ones sold for 22 and a half ships. PS3 and Xbox 360, we almost always lot together Call of Duties. Same with Halos, things like that. They don't usually sell well individually, so we lot them together and make a little bit more money that way. And then we got a second set of fingerlings that sold today as well. Same ones. We'll just... Same exact ones, same exact listing, everything sold for $25 and some change. So happy to see them go. We had a big box of these things up here on the top shelf, and we're I was able to move the box down because we're only down to a few left. So. Yeah, it was a big box too. So happy to clear up some space for some other stuff. Next up, we've got um, from the anime one hundred and fifty dollars anime buy. This is them, right? Strike Witches, the complete first season, um, and that one sold for fifteen dollars shipped. Pretty good, pretty good. Then we got oh. this crazy scuba knife. Um, this is a vintage... Linda won't want me to pull it out because I'll probably cut off my hand. Aqualung Divers Diving Knife with the scabbard. Mm -hmm. And that one sold for $89.99. And this came out of the Rolling Stones buy. Yep, came out of the Rolling Stones buy and sold full price. And then we've got a four pack of cassettes. This is the Los Mimos. Mismos. 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 Um, and those ones sold for almost $32 shipped. That was from the cassette buy with uh, all like Spanish and Latin cassettes that we bought. We sold a whole bunch of them for like 100 I slotted a bunch together and I think we spent like 30 or 40 bucks that day. So mm -hmm. made quite a bit of money on cassettes. Then we've got a pair of boots. These are Interceptor. Not the greatest brand. Tactical work boots. And those ones sold for... Almost thirty nine dollars shipped. Those were five bucks, so it's still worth it, I think, for five bucks. Then out of the horror lot of DVDs, this is like a cool cover too. Um, this is Wolfen from two thousand two. It is sealed and it sold for twenty three dollars shipped. It was originally from Walmart. Then we've got one of these ones. So these, some of these you got to look out for because some are worth money because you can't get them anymore. This is a Bath and Body Works Poolside Coconut Colada Fragrance Mist. Um, we put about seventy five percent full, even though it looks more than that, just because we don't I always want them to underestimate. Go and, yeah, because yeah, they're gonna like, be like, "That's not seventy nine. Uh, I measured it and it's seventy nine. Not. And really, really, health and beauty, you're not supposed to sell them unless like you're supposed to sell them new. So yeah, you're kind of skirting the rules a little bit. Just a little bit, but it sold for almost twenty four dollars shipped. So that's pretty good. Then we've got a Snap On 
Hexbit Socket. This is a 3 8 6 millimeter one out of the best you buy, and that one sold for $19 shipped. I think that puts us over 200 guys in just tools. Just so, for today, which is awesome. Just for this weekend, so in three days. Then next up, we've got a Hamilton Beach Strainer and Cutter all-in-one for the juicer, and that one sold for $18 shipped. Pretty good one. This one will go first class. We've sold it before, so... Okay, next up we've got a Rosewill 3.5 inch uh, external data storage. Um, this one sold for $20 shipped. Yeah, so this one, um, you basically put your data piece in here, screw it in so it like locks it in place, and then I guess you can have power up to it and everything. I guess it protects it. I don't know if it like prevents it from getting like, I don't know what it does, but somehow it protects it. Next up, we've got a Tampa Bay Buccaneers oh, we didn't um, bobblehead. We have. I just didn't grab it. And this one Keyshawn is Johnson. Keyshawn Johnson, and he sold for $22 and a half shipped. And then we've got a pretty Thomas Kincaid. It's right here in this little styrofoam. Um, this is the bed and breakfast for the holidays, and that one sold for $54 shipped. And we spent 20 bucks on like three or four of those buildings, and we've already made plenty of money. We have one left, I think, for like 40 or 50 bucks. Yeah. Then we got this last sale for right now. We still got an hour and 40 minutes. Ow! Oh, my Even God. your head's big. And this is a vintage Rawlings football helmet. Um, it is painted white and can be listed as like a proper display piece. It's not supposed to be white. You can tell someone like spray painted it. So I think it may have had another team on here or something or a different color, but it's been spray painted white. Yeah, and that sold for $40 shipped. So it's a two bar, so it is older. Just to give you an idea, the two bars are the old style. So if you find a two bar, especially with a team on there, you might want to look at it. Yeah, that's We're our not. last sale for the night. Um, hopefully we get some more. We're going to get started on packing all this. Um, hopefully you guys are having as good of Q4. sales for Q4 as we are. If we have this the rest of the way, we'll be set. We can uh, afford Christmas. We probably still can't afford it. because. I'm sorry, the first big money. buy of the Christmas season was yours. Yeah, but it's something we're going to use for every year for the rest of our lives. Got a fancy Christmas we got a nice tree. Christmas tree from Costco. but We love Costco. Well, the thing is, when you get a new house, you know, you want to get, like, a cool Christmas tree. It's your first Christmas together yeah. in the new house, so. First Christmas together? We've been together for a while. It feels like it's the first Christmas together because it's a new house, so. Oh. Well, new Chris first Christmas in our new house. It's exciting. Anyways, that's all we got. We got to get this packed up. Linda will be back if anything else sells, and we both will be back in, next time, in the next video with what sells Monday and Tuesday. So, thank you guys so much. Take care. Hey, guys. I'm back with the last three sales for the weekend. Um... I know I looked all done up last night, and now I'm looking like really this. Okay. So, our last three sales were, this is the first one. This is a vintage 90s Bengals hat right there. It is pretty dirty. Um, although it looks like it might be like that on purpose. I don't know. But it looks dirty. Maybe it's a gray. But this uh, 90s hat sold for $65 shipped. So that one will go out today with the rest of the packages from the weekend. And then this one sold last night and you guys watched this and I was like, oh, it sold. And he goes, no, the buyer canceled. I said, oh, okay. But then I relisted it right then and somebody else bought it. So this is Mortal Kombat Complete Edition for Xbox 360 and it sold for $15 shipped. And then our last, <laughs> our lax, last, um, oof. Our last sale for the weekend was um, the 22nd year of publication, um, Sexology, Sex Science Illustrated. And when it says illustrated, it literally means it. So um, that book sold for $12 shipped. So somebody's going to enjoy that. And so that's our last three sales for the weekend, putting us at a total of, I think it was 58 sales and... Um, I don't think it put us over 2,000, but we were pretty close. So, um, that's it. We'll see you guys for the next clips in the next week. And that's it. All right. Bye. Hey, guys. We're going to show you some of our Christmas stuff inside the house. Um, there's all of our stockings set up. Don't mind the cardboard there. We're working on a solution for our fireplace. But got the little trees over by the TV. And then here's our Christmas tree. I got it from Costco. It's nine foot. So, pretty nice there. Got it all decorated up. Uh, mainly Lynn and I had to decorate it because the kids bailed uh, throughout the decoration process so Turned out pretty nice though. I really like the way the trees. We just got it this year So we spent up for it, but 
Pretty was pretty cool. It's got the star on top and the star actually projects. It's not on right now, but it projects some snowflakes on the ceiling too. So just wanted to show that. Just Merry Christmas to everybody out there. And um, I'll show you guys probably the outside lights in the next video.